In this video, I'm going to discuss about center of gravity of the ship. So suppose this is a vessel here and this is forward part. This is aft part. The weight of the ship acts vertically downward throughout the length. So imagine that this is the total ship's length and the weight is acting like this vertically downward. We can see that some of these weights will definitely act at some point. Suppose this is a point here and some of these weight is acting vertically downward like this. Now this point is called center of gravity. I can define center of gravity as the point where total weight of the ship is assumed to be acting vertically downward. Well, it is very interesting that this is an assumption. That means this point is an imaginary point. And why we choose this imaginary point? Because it is suitable. It is suitable for stability purpose or stability calculation. Now let us discuss the concept of center of gravity and center of mass. Suppose uh, this is a road and you can balance this road at this center point. So this gives the impression that the mass is concentrated at this point. And the weight will act vertically downward like this which is w is equal to mg where m is the mass of the road m is mass of road and g is acceleration due to gravity we know it very well the average value is 9.8 meter per second square however this value keep changing uh, from one place to another place and at the surface of earth it can be considered as constant. It can be considered constant for some uh, small distances where small distances are involved. So here this is the geometrical center of this road. So then center of gravity and center of mass of this road are same at the same point. Similarly let's have a uh, few shapes. Suppose this is a, a square then geometrical center of a square is here that means center of mass or center of gravity will be at the same point. Similarly for circle it is going to be at the center of circle. For a triangle it is uh, one third from base. So from this one it is here. And from apex, let me write here, this is apex. So from apex, it is two third. And from base, well, this is base, it is one third. So center of gravity is here. Or geometrical center or center of mass. For circle, it is here. And for a square, it is at the cross section of the two diagonals. Now let me discuss about center of buoyancy. Suppose this is the water line here and ship is floating like this. Then as per the law of flotation, just let me go here, as per the law of flotation, weight of the body is weight of the liquid displays. So suppose this is the underwater volume. Now the weight of water displaced, weight of water displaced 
will be underwater volume multiplied by relative density or density so basically uh, this underwater volume will have some geometrical center and this is nothing but center of buoyancy and a force will act vertically upward like this actually there will be small forces will will act like this and we call them as upthrust force or force of buoyancy force of buoyancy or upthrust force so some of these upthrust force is the force of buoyancy which will act vertically upward from center of buoyancy I think let me write center of buoyancy is the point where force of buoyancy or upthrust acts vertically upward that is the definition of center of buoyancy now to just reinforce this concept suppose uh, this is a box shape vessel and it is like this having some length and this is the water line suppose this is 10 meter and say this is uh, 6 meter well and this is 4 meter so we can say this is keel so kg here where g is the center of gravity is 2 meter and we are looking the ship in transverse direction that is port side and this one is starboard side it is an earthward ship direction now the ship was floating like this and suppose here the draft is 3 meter then this is underwater volume the geometrical center of underwater volume is here B and I call it at KB and KB is going to be 1.5 meter half of 3 meter that this is a very simple example and explain the concept of center of buoyancy and center of gravity when you look the ship in transverse direction well uh, the same concept can be explained when you look the ship in longitudinal direction as well